Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today I'll be sharing on what to take note while purchasing a HDB resale flat. In 2022, based on statistics, 77% of the resident population in Singapore live in public housing under HDB. So this video is important to pretty much most of you and especially so to those first-timer or youngest buyer out there. Now I'll divide the video into three parts, planning and research, physical viewings, negotiation and closing. Planning or research. The first and most important thing to do before you even arrange any viewing or engage any realtor is to do up your HFE. This is for you to understand the amount of loan you can borrow up to or the type of grants you are eligible to have. Of course, it is always recommended for you to do this together with your property agent to prevent king in of any wrong information. HFE will typically take around 21 days to be approved. However, personally, some of my clients actually waited 3.5 months, so do try to do this earlier. From 4th November 2023 onwards, HFE validity will now be 9 months instead of the usual 6 months. With HFE, your agent should be able to help you identify a budget range. Secondly, while settling your HFE, it is recommended for you to identify which area or estate you are looking at. At this point, it will be good for you to engage professional help to better guide you as to which location or size or model that is best for you based on your budget, your profile or even your age. Intensive research should be done at this stage. For buyers out there, especially if you fall under a younger category and are looking at a more mature estate near your parents, many of you are not aware that if the age of the youngest buyer plus the remaining lease of the flat that you are looking at do not add up to 95, your HDB loan, EHG grant and CPF withdrawal limit will be prorated or shortchanged in a way. This rule was set to partially dissuade younger buyers from purchasing older leasehold properties that doesn't last them through an estimated lifespan. And of course, there are other streams of other reasons. So it is important to take this into consideration while looking for your HDB resale flat. The prorated calculation is different case by case depending on your age and the age of the flat. If you are keen to know of the exact prorated amount pertaining to your case, please reach out. Thirdly, after finalizing your finances, the location and the type of flat, it is time to arrange for physical viewing, which is the fun part, to see the different layouts in the area. Remember, layout plays a huge part especially if you are intending to sell in the future. I have a video entirely on how to select the right unit that will fetch you a higher profit. Please go to my playlist. Next, set aside time usually on a weekdays evening or weekend to view and tip for the day. Arrange a few units back to back so you can do a detailed comparison before you forget everything about it. Your appointed agent should be able to assist you with a comparison on old versus new flats, different kind of layouts or facing or even on renovation idea or tip. Part 2. Physical Viewing This part is extremely fun and crucial. It is beneficial to go with someone professional and have seen many houses so we know what to take note for you. Something to note include but not limited to like how's the corridor space between one unit and another unit, what facing generally to avoid, uh, what floor level to avoid, what will be left behind the house for the next buyer, how are the neighbors like, any leakages or more in the house, what kind of renovation to do or to avoid, what kind of layout to avoid, and much, much more. And these are things that direct buyers might not have the experience to spot or understand. Beyond the fun of seeing houses, the last and final part for this video will be the negotiation and grand closing. This is when things get serious. I mean, at the end of the day, after seeing all the nice houses, you need to buy something, right? So to dive in, you need to understand and be firm on the HDB timeline, which typically takes about 3.5 months from the day you auction the flat to completion. This is excluding any extension of stay or dragging of submission period in the market. Every timeline is different, depending a lot on the unit that you are purchasing. In this video, I can't get into the detail of it, but if you have any question pertaining to your own timeline, please contact me and I can guide you along. Separately, other than timeline, financial prudency is important in your step of negotiation and closing. Do take note of the possibility of COV, cash over valuation. What exactly is COV? To put in simply, you are buying at a higher price as compared to the neighbouring recent transactions of your unit type. 
This is extremely common in popular estates like Bishan, Toa Payoh, Teluk Langa, and more. Especially so if there are not many transactions in the area because then the value can't be supported. This will affect the cash component that you need to fork out. Just for this video example, you bought a house at 500,000, the HDB value turns out to be 450,000. There is a difference of 50,000 and this 50,000 will have to be in cash. You can't loan or use this CPF for this amount. However, your buyer's stamp duty tax will be based on the highest sum, which is 500,000 in this case. Hence, this is actually a crucial point to note for most buyers out there as it might eat into your renovation budget. If you need further advices on COV, do reach out. This video is a simple guide to HDB resale purchase. If you have any question at any stage of your purchase, feel free to ask me and I hope this video is informative for you. Please help to like, subscribe and share this video along. Let's be real. Bye!